in the fourth question i have to factorize these four polynomials and all of them are quadratic polynomials so the approach i'm going to take is to split the middle term so let's start with the first part so in the first part the polynomial is 12x square minus 7x plus 1 so the middle term is minus 7x the middle coefficient is minus 7 so i have to find out two numbers whose sum is minus 7 and whose product is 12 into 1 or 12 and if you think about it those two numbers are minus 3 and minus 4 so that's how i can split the middle term minus 7x as minus 3x minus 4x so let's do that so this will become 12x square minus 3x minus 4x plus 1. Now from the first pair of terms I can take out a factor of 3x common so that leaves me with 4x minus 1 and from the second I can take out a factor of uh, actually there's no common factor so I'm, I can just write this as minus 1 times 4x minus 1 and now I have this 4x minus term as common so I take it out and I'm left with 3x minus 1 times 4x minus 1 so this is the factored form of the first polynomial now let's go to the second one the second polynomial is 2x square plus 7x plus 3 so this time I have to find out two numbers whose sum is equal to 7 and whose product is equal to 2 times 3 or 6 and those two numbers if you think about it are 6 and 1 um, so that's how I can split the middle term so I can split it as 2x square plus 6x plus x plus 3 now from the first pair I can take out 2x common so that gives me 2x times x plus 3 and the second term is itself x plus 3 so i can write this as 1 times x plus 3 and now i can take out x plus 3 common so i'm left with 2x plus 1 times x plus 3 so this is the factored form of the second polynomial now let's look at the third one uh, the third one is 6x square plus 5x minus 6 so in this time i have to find two numbers whose sum is equal to 5 and whose product is equal to 6 times minus 6 or minus 36 so 36 has um, you know factors like 2 3 4 6 um, 9 12 and so on and you have to find out two fac factors whose sum whose sum is equal to 5 and product is equal to minus 36 so those two factors will be um, some combination of 9 and 4 because the difference of 9 and 4 is 5 so i can actually take 9 and minus 4 so the product of 9 and minus 4 is minus 36 and the sum is 5 so this is how i can split uh, 5x this time as 9x minus 4x so my polynomial becomes 6x square plus 9x minus 4x minus 6 so from the first pair of terms i can take out a common factor of 3x and that leaves me with 2x plus 3 and from the second uh, term uh, pair of terms i can take out minus 2 common and that leaves me with 2x plus 3 again and now i have 2x plus 3 common so i can take that out and then i get 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 3 so this is the factored form of the third polynomial now let's do the fourth one so the fourth polynomial is 3x square minus x minus 4 so this time i have to find two numbers whose sum is minus 1 the coefficient of x and whose product is 3 times minus 4 4 which is minus 12 so the answer is right there in front of you the two such numbers are 3 and minus 4 their sum is minus 1 and their product is minus 12 so that's how we can split the middle term this time minus x as 3x minus 4x so let's do that so i'm left with 3x square plus 3x 
minus 4x minus 4. So from the first pair, I can take out um, 3x common, so 3x, and that leaves me with x plus 1. And from the second pair, I can take out minus 4 common, so minus 4 times x plus 1. And this time I have x plus 1 common, so I take that out and I'm left with 3x minus 4 times x plus 1. So this is the factored form of the fourth polynomial. And that completes question number 4. Now let's go to the next question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.